Hello everybody, Smith here and welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today we're taking a look at the latest version of the mod because there's been another significant release. Um, well actually since I did my last update video there's been about five of them. The uh, the BDA devs really have been working their asses off but um, yeah I didn't really have time to cover them all so uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just take a look at this one and call it quits. Um, yes this is version 1.4.6. The last one I covered is uh, was 1.4.1 and there's been a lot of lot of new stuff since then. We don't really have a chance of uh, covering it all so uh, I'll just pick out some interesting highlights for you. In the background there's two of my spike tails facing off against two of Titan RT's Lekan 80s. Uh, this is a fight that happened during the most recent live stream. And my spike tails nearly, nearly got some decent damage onto the Lekan 80, so I thought I'd try my luck again um, and see what happened. But no, my my spike tails got their asses handed to them every time. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll just move on, shall we? One bug fix that's happened recently that I'm very happy about is with the surface to air missile unit here. Uh, previously, you kind of had to thr shove an aircraft down its throat before it would do anything, but now it. Well, it, it, it sort of works. I mean, my serpent there is just about to get into range. It will just fire off a missile like that in a kind of a, I'm sorry, that's never happened to me before way. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, perfectly functional. I'm just going to let my craft get hit here because this is one of the other new additions to, uh, to BD Armoury. There is now, if I go to here, there's a Kerbal safety slide up on full. Uh, if the cockpit gets destroyed, uh, the remains of my serpent uh, just... <laughs> being obliterated there. If it's set to full, if a cockpit is destroyed, the Kerbal will bail out with its uh, with its parachute. If it's set to off, that won't happen. It'll Your poor Kerbal will just die, but then this is Kerbal Space Program. It's kind of what happens. Uh, partial I haven't played about with, really. Uh, the only problem with this is if your Kerbal does bail out, the camera will automatically switch to them, which can sort of interrupt the flow of any, uh, any dogfights you're in the middle of, so I'll probably be turning it off before too long. While we're on the subject of air-to-ground attack stuff, there is a fun new addition to the guard menu. Uh, that's max turret targets. I'm just going to put that up to two. I've taken uh, one of my uh, Hawk Moth attack helicopters. I've done a little variant here that's equipped with uh, three of the chain gun turrets. And there's in front of me, there's two of these goalkeeper equipped tank, uh, tank things. And I am just going to switch the guard mode on and a voila takes care of both of them simultaneously. At the moment the AI only seems to want to target um, two at a time. I tried it with three but that didn't quite work. I'm just going to turn guard mode off actually. The other thing you'll notice is that the AI has actually used the IR targeting ball to uh, target one of the tanks. That's not a mistake. It's not done that just in case it switches to the, uh, to the Hellfires. If I now go to uh, the M230, turrets is selected. You'll notice that even on manual mode, the, uh, the the aim side is no longer attached to the mouse, and all I need to do is press the fire button, and that tank, well, whatever's targeted by the IR ball, will get um, will get all three turrets in this case. Still not dead. That's that's quite impressive. So I think that's about it for sort of as I said, the ground attack stuff. Um, uh, JDAM bombs aren't quite working as they should uh, still. Um, that's my next little bugbear. The, the surface to air missile turrets uh, almost been fixed, so now I'm going to start whinging about the JDAM bombs. Uh, sorry, BD Armory devs. Um, yeah, let's move on to some air to air combat stuff. Now, if you want to give your uh, scenarios, your, your dogfights, a little bit more flavour, there's a very interesting option that's been added in recent versions, and that if I click on here, is the ability to set your craft up as a VIP. I'm going to set my Serpent up here as a VIP. Um, I split this uh, this into two teams. We've got the Spike Tails here, um, and if I can find their Weapon Manager, uh, that's the Flight Computer. Do, 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 do. Both of these are set up to defend the VIP and the Red Hawks on the other team are set up, if I can find their weapon manager, being a little bit uh, temperamental here, set up to attack the enemy VIP and of course we've got two ground units also. So this is going to be sort of the defending the KSC team. I'm going to control the Serpent and these guys are going to hopefully protect me from the onslaught of the Red Hawks. It's going to be very fiddly to set up so I'll sort that out and I'll see you again in a second. 
Okay, we will be within range of their air defences shortly, so as soon as we are to set these, there they go, uh, release. I just need to avoid missiles for the moment. Oh, those are coming very close. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get off some missiles against this ground units whilst we're trying to evade missiles ourselves. They don't seem to be taking too much of an interest in me at the moment. I'm just going to keep popping missiles though because that might be <laughs> just me being lulled into a full sense of security. Oh, missiles coming in for me. Oh god, they're coming straight for me. Those were sidewinders. I should have been popping the other countermeasures. Oh, and the spike tails are nearly done. Oh. Oh, did those missiles do any damage? They didn't get anywhere near. Oh, they're just coming in now. And here comes the uh, here comes the goalkeeper trying to uh, trying to keep them away. But I think this um, this is going to do some pretty big damage. Ouch. Okay, I got obliterated. There are pieces of spike tail and serpent all over the place. <laughs> but it was interesting. It did it did add another dimension to the fight. And uh, Valentina Kerman struggling to gain control it did take some damage. Actually, I think that's why she's having difficulty controlling the craft. Uh, Ghosty Kerman completely unscathed. Okay, let's um let's do something a bit more traditional, but uh, but with a twist. Something a bit more run-of-the-mill than just a simple 3v3 um, uh, with the spike tails against the Red Hawks. Uh, but uh, just, as I said, a little twist. I'm going to turn off infinite ammo. Uh, at the end of the last BDA update video, I was experimenting with um, some of these battle modes. I think we uh, did battle damage last time. Today we're going to take a look at resource steel. I'm just going to bring out the resources window just to see how that plays into it. I've turned, as I said, turned off infinite ammo. So these guys don't have all the bullets they want, and we'll see how that affects things. If it doesn't, I haven't really played about with this before, so uh, if it doesn't, then hey ho, should still be a good fight. Let's uh, let's get this going. And so the composition starts. I think for Resort Steel Unites, it's uh, it's based on gun hits, so hopefully no missile deaths. Although now I've said that, you know exactly what's going to happen. Eye on Kerman. Popping countermeasures, trying to avoid missiles. Well, one thing that has had an upgrade recently is the missile avoidance behaviour. Um, because that was... Yeah, that wasn't very good when it came to trying to avoid uh, trying to avoid heat-seeking missiles. Um, even with the uh, even with the uh, the upgrade to the uh, to the flares, in so much as the flares actually work now. How are we doing? We're closing the distance. The Red Hawks seem to be on the back foot. The Spike Tails trying to get in there with a lot of sidewinders but uh, yeah we are closing to gun range so this will be interesting once we uh, once we start opening up with the guns oh Iron Kerman in a bit of a joust there but um, nothing doing I'm assuming that was just an explosion of missiles yeah no hits there Legged Lack Kerman coming about trying to uh, trying to acquire a target um, avoiding actually comes up. It does have a couple of good shots there. Not in a place to take it at the moment. Jebediah Kerman comes around. Ion Kerman. Ooh. One of the Red Hawks is sort of putting damage into one of the uh, spike tails there. Oh, that must be Leg Lack Kerman's craft. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Jebediah Kerman's craft has just Obviously taking some hits and it's almost completely out of fuel now. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the resource steel kicking in. I noticed that uh, Legolak Kerman's fuel was looking a little ropey, but then uh, switched back to him. Obviously got a hit on one of the Red Hawks and managed to nick some back. Jebediah Kerman, you are going to need to do something spectacular if you are going to avoid running out of fuel very, 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 very quickly. Popping some uh, popping some flares. 
And he is out of fuel and probably a sitting duck for this gunfire. Yeah. One of the Red Hawks comes in, strips him of a load of parts, can't quite finish the job. I think that was a, a missile about to... no, sorry. I thought I saw a missile coming in for uh, for him, but no, nope. the Red Hawks. The fuel situation is looking good. Josh Kerman, I think, might have taken a hit or two. His fuel situation it doesn't seem to be as rosy as the others, or it could just be the others have actually nicked fuel off the spike tails. Ion Kerman, Ion Kerman also out of fuel. Did you see that? Just the way the fuel level dropped in Leg Black Kerman's craft. Okay, yeah, this could be an interesting game mode. Still hanging on in there. Gunfire coming in. The last, last active, um, last active spike tail. Oh crap! We've got the, uh, we've got the, uh, the sound bug again. Gunfire comes in. It's just gonna need like a hit. Okay, well that's that's slightly more decisive than running out of fuel. Um, Ion Kerman, did Ion Kerman get a hit? Ion Kerman must have gotten hit on one of the Red Hawks. Oops. Yeah, still got, uh, still got Kerbal Safety on. Ah, for goodness sake. Yeah, that's why you should turn, turn Kerbal Safety off if you want to do a dogfight, especially if you're recording it for YouTube, because otherwise that would just be silly. Ah. Ion Kerman obviously stole a load of fuel as he was on his last legs, but now some hits. And it's his own fuel that is nearly completely drained. Two Red Hawks on his tail. It's just going to take the one hit, I think. In fact, yeah. Out of fuel. Here comes the gunfire. That was quite interesting. But that did really add another dimension to the fight. Uh, but as Ion Kerman slowly makes his way towards the ground. Nearly a hand-to-hand -hand kill there when it didn't need to be. Yeah, as Iron Kerman slowly makes his way towards the ground, taking uh, taking shots as he does so. Uh, that will uh, that will be all we have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider liking, subscribing, dropping me a comment if you haven't already. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter. Get involved with the Discord. Great uh, KSP community there. Um, if you do want to support the channel, there's also uh, PayPal and Patreon links in the description. Uh, so yes, I will be back soon with some more. Oh crap! He's he's. <laughs> Ion's gone crazy. Let's uh, just turn the pilot off. See if that uh, helps things. No, he's just gonna he's just gonna twist himself into the sea. Anyway, I will be back soon with some more uh, with some more BD Armory. And until then, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.